for Jimmy, I wanted to start off with this. It started start off a little rough for you. You won for six in the first half. You you came back, you fought back hard. You went three for six and finished with double digit points. What helped you lead to that turnaround in the second half? Uh, you know, my teammates, my teammates that led me, you know, they just tell me stay in there, shot in the ball. I felt like I was getting good looks, the looks I wanted, and they just weren't going in. So I didn't really feel too bad about the misses, you know, especially since we were winning. So I didn't really care about the misses, and they were telling me just stay in the game and stay with yourself. So keep making, keep taking those shots. As well. Middle of the second half, BYU made their run. How were you guys able to rebound defensively, like bounce back defensively? I guess. Uh, you know, just just talking more, communicating more, being more physical with the cuts, uh, guard the ball harder. So I feel like we just talked to each other, huddled up after every possession, just told each other, emphasized that. You mentioned guarding the ball harder. Was that just on the perimeter or just all around? Uh, just all around. You know, whether that's a crackdown. Whether just going into it, just going into the second round. Like, what do you think is going to be the mindset going into the going into your next game? Um, I feel like it's more of the same mindset, you know, just just come in, take it one day, one game at a time, have the right mentality, and bring your pride to the game. So you speaking of pride, how proud do you think all the Duquesne fans are back home? Oh, I know they. I know they're proud of us for sure, and I, and I appreciate all the love and support. Just keep showing that, showing that love. We've been telling them how we're doing. We've been telling them. If there's one word you could use to describe this entire team right now, what would you use? Uh, you know, I hope to keep going. I hope to be galvanized. Why is that? Uh, you know, it's just because I'm lost. I'm lost for words. Just uh, how these guys put in so much work day in and day out. Not just myself. I know I grind. But being able to be around other guy, uh, another group of guys that do the same, go hard, and just like you, it feels good. So that's that's why that's so hard. Sir, this is Keith Dambras' last go around. How special do you think this win was? Oh, it's very special. I feel like it's a historic win, you know, especially being a part of the UK. And, you know, this is their first time in 47 years coming to our It's like, I feel like it's special, you know. We felt like we weren't done yet. We thought the same as well. So. If there's one statement you could say to Duquesne fans for, for Saturday, what would that be? We're not taking no crap from nobody. We're standing on business. They try to throw their best punch late in the second half, but we 